These first few months are so special. The first time he smiled, my heart just melted completely. My choices now matter so much. It's my baby that's at stake, and I want to choose a brand that I can trust. Mommy's List really gets what it means to be a new mom and makes all the essential products that I'm going to need for Julian's first year of life. I'm Yasmin, I'm a new mom, and I'm the CEO of Mommy's Bliss. The only constant in parenthood, change, big and small. A little nerve-wracking, unexpected or familiar. a and protects these special moments. Happy changes ahead. Introducing the iHealth No Contact Thermometer. Measure your temperature instantly. You'll see results in just one second. The infrared sensor collects more than 100 data points, getting accurate results every time. So you can feel confident when you're keeping a close eye on a kid with a fever. You can check your child's temperature without having to touch their skin. No more worrying about spreading germs around your house. And no loud beeping sounds that could wake a sleeping child. A sleek, one-button design makes taking a temperature simple. Just hold the button until you feel a gentle vibration. The LED screen displays the reading in bright white light, so you can clearly see it, even in total darkness. Just hold, aim, and measure. That's how easy it is to take a temperature with a no-contact thermometer from iHealth. Hi, I'm Dr. Alana Levine pediatrician and mom of two. Here are my top seven tips on how to treat and prevent diaper rash. First, I recommend changing diapers often. As soon as you can see that the diaper is getting heavy from being wet and immediately after a bowel movement. To clean the diaper area, soak your baby's rashy bottom in warm water and a gentle fragrance-free wash instead of using wipes. Gently pat dry. Wiping or rubbing can cause pain and more irritation. Expose your baby's bottom to air as often as possible. Be sure your baby is on an easy to clean surface or you may have a mess on your hands. When my children had diaper rashes, I'd line their play space with absorbent pads and leave them diaper free and exposed to the air. Avoid products containing alcohol and fragrances that can irritate the baby's sensitive skin. Look for options that are hypoallergenic and paraben free. Even better than treating diaper rash is preventing it from happening in the first place. I recommend applying a thick layer of healing ointment at every diaper change. Finally, when re-diapering, be sure not to fasten your baby's diaper too tight. You want to allow for airflow and avoid further chafing and irritation. Follow these tips and say goodbye to diaper rash and hello to your baby's smiles. <laughs>